Get set up for tomorrow's trading day. Joining us now is Ayako Yoshioka, Senior Portfolio Manager at Wealth Enhancement Group. Uh, and I, I mean, the markets all year have been trying to figure out if a soft economic landing is possible, if the Fed can engineer such a thing. I guess a day like today makes you think that the markets are leaning a little bit against uh, a real soft landing. What's your take? I think it's going to be very difficult for the Fed to engineer their soft landing. I know the economy has been relatively strong, the job market's strong, but continued Fed action and the high inflation rates that we're seeing are just going to make it more difficult, I think, going forward. Does that mean you expect the overall market is going to have to, you know, suffer a bit more at this point? I mean, we are down, what, 15, 18 percent, depending on the index that you look at, even more on the NASDAQ. Sure. We do expect continued volatility over the next few months, especially as we go through year end. Um, you know, earnings have yet to reflect some of the economic slowdown that we're seeing uh, in certain parts of the market. Yeah. And I know that you um, you still do see some opportunities here and they seem like uh, in general picks that maybe aren't so tied to, uh, you know, the overall index move, such as American Tower, uh, which I guess technically is a REIT. Yes. You know, during volatile times in the market, we like to lean into companies that have strong uh, business models. And American Tower is one of them. You know, 98 percent of their revenues are in long term leases uh, because it's a REIT uh, and they own cell towers. And so they will continue to benefit from the data acceleration as the world moves from 3G to 5G. So we like the stock over the long term. More Martin Marietta Materials, this is kind of aggregates. It's a infrastructure kind of construction play. Is that a, a, a macro call or something else? No, we like the fundamentals here and the strong business model, again, with Martin Marietta. And, you know, they are going to continue to benefit from the Infrastructure Act that was passed uh, late last year. A lot of the projects have just started and they will continue to uh, start uh, into next year. And so we like the yeah. fact that they have that visibility. Yeah, they uh, they do seem to. That stock is uh, even even with those tailwinds down something like 24 percent from its highs. Uh, I appreciate your time today. Thank you so much.